Hello, guys. Hello. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hello. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Perfect. Good evening, Salvador. So welcome for the ones that are coming. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to today class. So guys, you know, tonight we are going, you know, to learn new more topics that we have pending, right? But first of all, guys, let me show you something. Um, okay, so guys, we are in unit number three, right? So well, I hope we have, you know, practiced at home and that we have, you know, also practiced in the platform because remember that we have some quizzes, right? Some exercises that we have to finish. Um, you can continue with me or you can do it by your own, right? At home. So that's okay, right? So we are going to wait a couple of minutes, you know, for your classmates to join tonight, right? So welcome everybody. Welcome for the ones that are joining. Welcome Jenny, Noemi, Anna, Ever, Brenda. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, girls. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Ever. So well, guys. You know, now I'm going to start. You know, with the game that we always have. You know. This one, you know, will be, we have new words for tonight. So I want to know if you know it, right? So let's start, guys. I need your help for this one, guys. How do you call this in English? Do you have an idea? Yes, please help me in the chat box, please, guys. In the chat box of Zoom, type your answer, okay? Type your answer, okay? Bruce did, I have Jenny here, okay? What about the rest, guys? I want to see everybody here, okay? I want to see. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? Okay. Brush teeth, I have ever, okay. So guys, for this one, we can call it toothbrush, okay? Toothbrush. That's the name that we use to call this, right? Brush teeth. Um, well, in this case, brush teeth, you know, we can use it, but that means, you know, like a verb, right? Like, please brush your teeth, right? Or brush your teeth, okay? So, toothbrush is verb, right? Now, what about this one, guys? How do we call this? Any idea? Hmm? What do you think, guys? Help me in the chat box, please. How do you call this? Hmm? Yes, guys. I want to see, you know, your answer in the chat box. Okay. Ever say paste. Okay. And what about the rest? Any idea? No. So, guys, even though we have the name here, you see? Food, let's see. Okay, yeah, Salvador, Jenny, toothpaste. Yeah, correct. Toothpaste is how we call this, right? Toothpaste, remember. Now, let's see. Oh, sorry. So, let's see this one, guys. How do we call this one? Mm -hmm. An idea? I don't know if you have it at home, one of these, or when you go to any place, to, to your world or university. We can have this, right? So, okay, I have ever seen. Okay, guys, yes, for this, we call it sing, right? Sing. So now, what about this one, guys? This is really easy. Any idea? Yes, no? Bad tub. Bad tub. Yeah, exactly, bad tub. That's how we call it, perfect. And what about this, guys? This is easy, right? I know so, that you know. Sub, perfect. But also, we can call it, guys, borrow sub, right? That's one of the way that we can call it, right? And finally, the last one, guys. How do you call this? I know that you have one 
in your house, right? I know that everybody has one of these at home. So guys, how do you call it? Have you ever asked, how do you call these? Mm -hmm. Easy guys, this is very easy, any idea? Yes, no? Sponge? Yeah, exactly, a sponge. That's how we call it, a sponge. Yeah, this is a sponge. You can call it green a sponge, right? Because we have this part that is green. Perfect, guys. Very nice. So, well, you know, guys, these words are, you know, for you to, you know, to get more vocabulary, right? So if you know anything, at least you can learn one word per day, right? So we are progressing in that way, right? We're improving our, you know, speaking part. Now, guys, let me move on because I have here something for you, okay? So, guys, let's see. I have here some questions. You know, this one are about all the topics that we have, you know, seen so far. So, for example, how often do you, did you, okay, in past, and as well, you know, asking you for, you know, places. So, we have this one, right? Now, guys, let's see. Um, we are going to practice these, you know, questions with our classmates, right? So I'm going to send you this picture or you can take a photo, right? As you want, so we can practice this, right? Remember guys, please practice, okay? Don't be afraid of your classmates because everybody, you know, is learning, right? So let's see guys, let me divide you in groups. Let's see how many we are, perfect. So I'm going to divide you guys and we are going to practice these questions, okay? So let's see, okay, perfect. So guys, please accept the invitation and let's practice this one, okay? Okay, let me send you the photo to the group so you can have it or you can take a switch, right? So please guys, accept the invitation. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, perfect. Janita Alvaro, if you can accept the invitation, please. Thank you. Hello, Teresa. We are practicing these questions in groups. So let me assign you to a group, okay? Okay. Hello, Sandra. Uh, let me see, let me assign you to a group, okay? We are practicing here, okay? Let's see, Andrea, let me assign you to a group. 
Teacher. Yes. Se me da problemas dice, cuando hacemos grupos. Cuando entro al grupo se me desconecta o cuando y regresamos a la sala normal se me desconecta la, la, la red. No sé, no sé si es mi teléfono o es red ahorita. Really, but always do you have this inconvenience? Siempre tienes este inconveniente. Sí, siempre. Really? Hmm. Okay, so do not worry. We are going, you know, to see that one. Mm, probably it's because of your cell phone. Hello, Roxana. Um, we are practicing these questions, but let's see. Uh, well, we are going about, well, we are about to finish. So let me close the rooms and we are practice this here, okay? So do not worry, let's okay. see. Okay, and welcome for the ones that are joining. Guys, we were discussing these questions, right? With our classmates. So let's see for the ones that are joining right now. Welcome, welcome, guys. So, guys, I'm going to start, you know, asking you these questions randomly. Okay. Once everybody's here, let's see. Okay, everybody's on the breakout rooms for the moment. Perfect. So, guys, I'm going to ask you this question, you know, a random. So, let's see. I'm going to choose uh, Ever. Hello, Ever. Ever? Hello, teacher. Hi, Ever. Uh, let me ask you this question. How often do you do you chat on Facebook? Okay, I chat on Facebook every day. Okay, very nice. Okay, nice. Thank you, Ever. Now let's see. Um, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Mister. Hi, Brenda. Um, tell me, how often do you work? Okay, I work. I work four hours of day. Okay, four hours per day. You can say perfect. Very nice. Now let's see. Uh, Anna. Hello, Anna. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Anna. Let me ask you. Do you like to go to the beach? And why? Yes, I like it. Because I think that is very relaxed. Okay. Swimming in the waves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wheels. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Anna. Now let's see. Uh, um, let me ask. Let's see. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Hi, Claudia. Let me ask you. Did you study English in high school? Yes, um, I study. Perfect, very nice. Now, you see guys, that's a, a yes or no question, right? And Claudia said, yes, I studied. Perfect, very nice. Now let's see, uh, Lorena, hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Hi, Lorena, let me ask you this question. Did you work yesterday? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Very nice. You know, easy questions, right? Yes, no questions. Perfect. Now let me ask Noemi. Hello, Noemi. Hello, teacher. Hi, Noemi. Let me ask you this question. Where were you yesterday at night? No. No. No? No, uh, where were yesterday at, at night? Yeah, the question is, where were you yesterday at night? Donde estabas ayer en la noche? Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday at night is a uh, class in, in support. I was in class, you can say. I was in class. Perfect. Very in nice. English. <laughs> yeah, in English class. Perfect, Noemi. Very nice. Thank you. Now let's see Salvador. Hello, Salvador. Hello. Hi, Salvador. Let me ask you this question. Where is Plaza Mundo? Tell me. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> okay. 
So uh, anyone that can help Salvador or tell me where is Plaza Mundo? Anyone? In a popa. A popa, yeah, perfect. Plaza Mundo is in a popa and also in the soya pan. Soya pan. Perfect, very nice. In the soya pan. Soya Pango City, perfect. Very nice. Now let's see. Um, let me ask Alvaro. Hello, Alvaro. Hello, Alvaro. Hello, hello. Hi, Alvaro, let me ask you, where is La Gran Villa? Tell me. Um, it's in San Salvador. In um, San Salvador? Uh, mm -hmm. In San Salvador, ex, ex, uh, direct, direction exactly to, I don't know. Yes, you don't know. Okay, anyone that can help Alvaro, where is La Gran Villa, guys? Where? He's in Antiguo Cuscatlán. In Antiguo Cuscatlán, perfect. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Okay, guys, so you see these questions are, you know, random questions, but about topics that we have seen, right? So now, guys, let's see. I have this, you know, interesting conversation for tonight. That is about, you know, the topic that we are going to see. So, guys, let's see. We have Alice and John and also Henry. So, let's see. Excuse me. We are a bit lost. Can you speak English? Yes, but just a little. Can you speak slowly? Okay. Do you know if there is a hospital around here? Yes. Go straight along the road and turn right. There you will see the hospital. Is it far from here? No, it's just a few minutes. Is there any landmark? Yes, the hospital is upside 7-Eleven. Thanks a lot, you're welcome. Okay guys, so First, we are going, you know, to discuss this, you know, conversation, you know, we are going to make as well group. But first of all, let me ask you guys, um, do you have any question about this conversation? Do you understand it? Is there anything that you don't understand? What is la landmark? Landmark. Landmark. Okay, landmark. Very nice, guys. Landmark es como punto de referencia, right? Es punto de referencia, right? Landmark. Y le dice, sí, el hospital está upside 7-Eleven, right? So 7-Eleven is the landmark, el sitio de referencia, right? So guys, perfect. Any, any other question that you don't know, guys, here? Far is lejos, ¿verdad? Exactly. Far is lejos. Is it far from here? Está lejos de aquí. Okay. Like this. Slowly, one. teacher. Slowly is lentamente. Can you speak yeah. slowly? Puedes hablar lentamente. Okay. Y strike, strike. Straight. Straight. Que okay, go straight significa como ir adelante. Okay, ir, ir recto. Right? Go straight. Ir De recto. derecho. En dirección. Exacto. Ir, oh. ir derecho. Perfect. Okay, very nice. Now, guys, let me, you know, divide you in groups so we can, you know, practice these questions, okay? So please accept yeah. the invitation. I'm going to send you this conversation to the WhatsApp group, or you can take a picture or a screenshot, right? It's okay. We are going to take just two minutes, right? Because it's, you know, short question, a short conversation. Let's see. Okay, I don't have it here. So come on, guys, let's accept the invitation and let's practice, okay? Let me take the picture I didn't take it. So let's see. Okay, thank you, Brenda, as well. Perfect. So, guys, you see in the group of WhatsApp, you can accept the invitation, please.
Okay, welcome back, guys. Welcome. So, well, I hope you have practiced this one, guys, because right now, you know, we are going to discuss it, okay? It will be really easy because, you know, this is vocabulary that we have already studied, right? So, well, we have Weber, and I think you are the first one here. So, um, let's see. We are going to show. So, Ever, you're going to be Alice. I then you're going to be Jan. And let's see, Teresa. Teresa is going to be Henry, okay? So let's start then. So ever I did Teresa, ever Alice, uh, I did John and Teresa Henry. Let's start, guys. Okay. Excuse me. We are a bit, a bit lost. Can you speak English? Yes. But just a little. Can you speak slowly? Okay. Do you know if there is a hospital around here? Yeah. Yes. Go sign down here and to right. There you will see the hospital. Is it far from here? Ah, oh, just a few minutes. Is there any landmark? Yes, it's a positive 7-Eleven. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. I like it. I love that. Perfect, guys. So now, you know, this conversation is about a topic that we are going to see tonight. But, you know, before to start with that, guys, let's see. I have here something for you. We are going, you know, to make this exercise, okay, guys, about signals, okay? I have already sent you on the WhatsApp group this, you know, this link, but let me also share you here on the chat box of Zoom. So, guys, what we are going to do is that we are going to make this, and at the end, you're going to show me what is your result, okay, your score. So, for example, we have here this one. What does this mean, guys? Stop means a stop, right? Stop. Now Stop. let's see about this one. What is this one, guys? Any idea? Is park here? No park or don't park here, guys? No park. No park. Don't park here. Don't park here. Perfect. Don't park here. Now let's see another one. What is this, guys? Don't turn right, turn right or not turn. What do you think? All right. All right. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, guys. Now you're going, you know, to finish the rest. One. So we have, you know, this one as well, right? I have sent you the link here on the chat box of Zoom and as well in the chat of our WhatsApp, right? So, guys, you have, you know, to guess this, one, okay? Do not worry if you get, I mean, if you don't get a better, I mean, a good score. Because this one is just for practicing, okay? So do not worry. But let's try to do it, okay? Let's try to do it alone. You know, this is in order to know how good we are, okay, with the vocabulary. So you can start, okay, guys? And if you have any question, please let me know, okay? Okay, I did finish. Okay, very nice. 12 of 12, very nice. I did. What about the rest, guys? Come on, let's finish, okay? 
Let's see. Okay, Marvin. Very nice. Nine twelve. Very nice, guys. So come on, let's give some minutes, you know, for your classmates to finish. Okay, this exercise. Yes, you know, it's not complicated at all, guys. Do not worry if you don't understand. So we are going, you know, to practice here. Let's see. Come on, guys. Okay, Anna, perfect. Come on, guys. Let's see. Okay, very nice. I see that some of you have sent it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sambar, Teresa, perfect. Very nice. I like it. So, okay, guys. So I see Andrea. Nice, guys. I like it. So you see, guys, um, this exercise was, you know, in order to know how, how much you know about, you know, this vocabulary. Because tonight, guys, we are going to learn how to ask and give directions to people, okay? For example, when we are lost, right? When we are lost and we don't know where to go. For example, if I ask you guys, where is La Gran Villa? And you have to tell me how, how can I get there, okay? Where is there? So guys, now let's see here, I have here this presentation. So first guys, let's learn you know a little bit about the vocabulary that we are going to see. So we have this one, I live in a town and you? And you see, we have buildings, shop, and other places, right? So let's just start. We have, you know, places like a school, right? We have a school. We have parks, right? Parks. We have libraries, okay, where you can read. We have bookshops, okay? We as well have supermarket. We have malls. We have grocery stores, right? Do you remember? We have a swimming pools, right? Places where you can go, right? Swimming pool. We have as well banks, right? Banks, hotels. So we have as well hotels. So now guys, let's see. Guys, we have here, you know, some ways that we can do in order to ask or give directions, right? To people. But let me show you something uh, that I have here for you. Okay, let's see. I have here a presentation I want to show you. So let's see. Okay, guys, now we are going to learn about you know, asking and giving directions. So where do you want to go, right? Let's see. Guys, do you remember that yesterday we were discussing about prepositions, right? The prepositions, for example, in front of, you remember? Behind, on, in. For example, that we'd say, um, McDonald is in front of El Salvador del Mundo, right? For example, like this one. And we have, you know, behind, on, in. You can look at the picture what it means, right? We have as well beside, okay? Besides means the same as next to, right? Besides or next to. Between, you know, between means in the middle, right? In the middle of something. We have upside. You know what is upset, right? It's, it's almost the same as in Spanish, right? We have above, you see above, and we have below. This is below, right? Above, below, okay? We have this kind of vocabulary. Now let's see, we have, you know, next to, okay, next to, that is almost the same as beside, right? Next to, across from, okay, across from, near, okay? Far, so near is this one, and far is this one, you see? Near, far, okay? Now, guys, we have this kind of directions in order for you to know, I mean, how to do them. So we have, first of all, turn left. So turn left, guys, means, you know, left, you know, that means izquierda, right? So turn left means like, como ir a la izquierda, right? Ir a la, a la izquierda, right? We have turn right, turn right means hit a la derecha, right? Turn left and turn right, right? So, and we have as well go straight. So go straight means this, right? Like go, right? Go straight, como ir adelante, right? Como seguir, ir derecho. Also, we have a go over, right? Go over 
and go under. So go over means like, for example, go over a bridge, okay? Como ve encima del puente, right? And go under the bridge, como ve por debajo, right? Go over and go under, right? We have these ones. Now, guys, we are here in the part that is very important. So this one is like, how can we ask for durations? So guys, we have here some examples. So how do I get to the KFC restaurant? How do I get to Pollo Campero? How do I get to Hotel Intercontinental? How do I get to Metro Center, right? So we have this question that we can ask, how do I get to, okay, and the place? We also have this question, where is the coffee shop? Where is Pollo the Pollo Campero restaurant? Where is McDonald's? Where is Metro Centro? Where is Plaza Mundo? Okay, where is, where is? And we have as well this one. Can you tell me where, where 7-Eleven is? Can you tell me where Pollo Campero is? Can you tell me where the hospital is? Okay. And guys, we have like this vocabulary or this question that we can use, right? For example, excuse me, how do I get to KFC restaurant? Excuse me, where is the coffee shop? Pardon me, how do I get to KFC restaurant? I beg you pardon, okay? These ones, you know, I like, like very formal, right? You can all only say, excuse me, or could you tell me, right? So we have here some examples, you see? If you want to sound like very natural, you can say, excuse me, where is Pollo Campero? Excuse me, where is Metro Centro? Excuse me, how do I get to Soyapango? Okay, for example. Okay, guys, any questions so far? Teacher, I have the question. Yeah. Pardon me, que significa? It's like, excuse me, it's como perdóneme, it's como cuando Perdón. llega así, perdóneme. Sabe dónde ah, está, okay. o, yeah, par, pardon me, okay. but, yeah, so. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, any uh, other question, guys? Teacher, mm -hmm. ¿cuál es el significado de las últimas dos después de excuse me, pardon me? Okay, I have, I beg your pardon. I beg mean como rogar, right? Es como, uh, le pido perdón o le explico perdón. Usted sabe dónde está o cómo llego a, ah, ok? Like this one. Y lo, sorry that to trouble you, but perdóneme de molestarlo, ok? O perdón por molestarlo, pero can you tell me where 7 Living is? Puede decirme dónde está, ok? Can you tell me? Sorry to trouble you. This one, you know, are like, yeah, advanced vocabulary and formal. But guys, I recommend you can use excuse me, right? Excuse me, that is the most common, right? The common one. But if you want to use this one, it's okay. I mean, that's perfect, okay? So sorry to trouble you, but... And this one, guys, these are the most common one. This one that are here, okay? Estas son las más comunes. How do I get to? Como llego a? Where is the? Donde está el? Y can you tell me where? Puede decirme donde? Okay? This, right? Now, guys, giving duration. How can you give duration, guys? ¿Cómo pueden dar ustedes direcciones? You can say, you can go straight and turn left. Okay, you can. Okay, you can. The coffee shop is next to the high school. Okay, remember, next to. You know, preposition. 7-Eleven is very near your house. You see, near. Next to, go straight, turn left. You see, guys? For example, we have the question, excuse me, can you tell me where Pollo Campero is? Sure, or of course. Yes, why not? You can go, okay, oh, Pollo Campero is next to, or is in front of, is very near, okay, like this one. Right, guys? So these are the ways you can give duration. Here you can ask, okay? Like this one you can ask, and here you can give, okay? So, guys, do we have any questions so far? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Yes, no? About this? Yes? Everything is okay? Okay, perfect. 
Now guys, let me share you. Here I have something. So guys, for you, this is you know, more vocabulary for you to give directions, right? So guys, we have this vocabulary. How do you say semaphore? You say traffic lights, okay? Traffic lights. Cross the traffic lights, okay? Pasa el traffic, el semáforo. Rotonda, chicos. Round about, or redonder, right? Round about, okay? Like sabor del mundo, round about. You see? Sidewalk, you know, it's like a la acera, sidewalk. Zebra crossing, you know, or crossing. Just crossing is like el paso peatonal, right? Crossroad es esto, right? Como um, cuando se cruzan dos calles, right? Like this one. We have turn left, okay? Girar a la izquierda, turn right, girar a la derecha. Go straight, es como ir adelante, right? Go past, es como ir y pasar, right? Go past. For example, go past the Hotel Intercontinental and continue, okay, como pasa, cross, cruzar, okay. Y tenemos this preposition, guys, at the corner of, okay, at the corner of, que significa en la esquina de, en la esquina de, at the corner of, next to, upside, you see upside, opuesto, y between, en medio, okay. Like this one. Let's see. I have here, you know, like more vocabulary, right, for you. You see? How do I get to the library? Where is the nearest post office? Can you tell me? Okay. Do you have a map? Excuse me, how can I go to? Okay, we have this one. Which the best way to? I'm looking for, estoy buscando, could you direct me to, may I ask you for some help, okay? Like this one, is it far? You see guys? And giving direction in English, guys. Go up, it's on the corner, go straight ahead, cross, go along, turn left, turn right. And we have this one, okay guys? Let me share you guys this, you know, this link so you can you know have it right you can practice okay now guys let's see uh i have here you know uh yeah this one let's see guys let's see if we can get it right we are going to do this together okay let's see so guys what is this one go go what go strange Go straight. straight, perfect. And this one? Left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn perfect. Left. This one? Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. right. Perfect. What is this one, guys? Go the supermarket. Past. Past. Go past. Perfect. And what about this one, guys? What is this? It's mm -hmm. is the straight. Is straight. Um, let's see. It's I guess it's on. It's on the left. Está en la izquierda. You see, because you're mm -hmm. here. Esta mano izquierda de aquí es on where guys? The right. Right. It's on the right. Está a la derecha, okay? Perfect. Now let's see this one. This is a question. Is the supermarket? What, when, yeah, where, 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 between. With between. Between. Opposite. 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 Between. Perfect. Upside. Upside. Yeah. Now let's see this one. Where is this? I'm talking about next the red one. Next. Next to. Next to. Next to. Perfect. And this one. 
Between between this one is between. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, guys. Perfect. So, well, I'm going to stop here. Now, I'm going to show you, you know, I have here something else as well for you. So we can, you know, get it. Let's see. Uh, let me show you the presentation we were in this part. Okay, guys. So we were, you know, asking, giving directions, right? Now, let's see, we have, you know, if you see this activity, guys, let's see, say the preposition. For example, the car, you see, the car is in front of the house. The dog is next to the house, you see, next to. The house is between the tree and the dog, you see? Tree, dog, between, right? The dog is below the sun. Below, you know, that means like under, right? The back, right? Below. Behind the car, okay? The house is behind the car. Casta detrás del carro. And the sun is above the dog. Sol está encima, right? Above. Okay, you see? Like this example. Now, guys, it's your turn. Well, we have these prepositions as well, you see? On, this is on. In, besides, with, between, below, across. You see, across. Now, this one, guys. I need your help in this one, okay? So this one, uh, let's see. We are going to do it, you know, uh, in groups, okay? So I'm going to send you this picture, guys, okay? This picture I'm going to send you. So, guys, in groups, you're going to discuss what is the correct one for the first one, the second one, and the third one, okay? Let me make groups so you can discuss with your classmates, okay? Let me recreate them. So let's see, let's make six, okay, perfect. So guys, now you can accept the invitation and let's discuss this one, okay? The photo is on the WhatsApp group or you can take a screenshot of four, right? Hagamos este ejercicio en grupo, okay? Let's see if we can solve it, okay? Now please accept the invitation. Okay.
Hello, Eduardo. Um, were you not in any group? Eduardo, ¿estabas en algún grupo? Hello? Hello, Eduardo. Hello, can you hear me? Eduardo? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, were you in any group? Estabas en algún grupo? No, no. No, okay. Let me then assign you to one of the groups so you can accept the invitation, okay? Okay. Okay, welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome the ones that are joining right now. So, okay, guys, now I hope we have finished this one because I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to ask you in groups, okay? So, according to this, we were, let's see, six groups. So, let's see, I'm going to see, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to wait for the rest there, you know, they're coming here, okay? So, well, I have, we have, you know, finished this exercise and you have understood. Or does anybody has any question about this? Again, do we go inconveniente acerca de esto? Yes, no? No? No. Perfect. So then let's start. I'm going to ask first room number one. I have Ambar, Claudia, Noemi, and Salvador. So guys, for this group, what, what is the first one? The drugstore. Mm -hmm. The drugstore is between the Indeed. post office and the movie theater. Movie theater, perfect, very nice. Now let's see, room two, I have Delmi, Dina, and Roxana. The second one, the police station. Mm -hmm. across from across oh. from okay maybe okay we can see opposite. opposite opposite okay so yeah both are correct we can put both so but then thank you now let's see Room number three. Room number three, Anna, Erika, and Teresa. What is the three? The hospital. Mm -hmm. Far. Is far from the school. We have far here. Ah, uh, yeah, far. Okay. Now let's see five. Alvaro, Ever, and Janira. Number five. Mm -hmm. Number five, to go to Fair Street to ride from Central Avenue. Which one? What preposition? 
to write. To write, okay. To go to the first street, to write, okay. Yeah, to Central Avenue, okay. Now let's see. Six. Number six, I have Jenny, Lorena, and Sandra. Number Hello, six. girls. What is the number six? Hello, next to uh, the bank is next to next. the police station. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Now let's finish this one. The church is, this is for anybody. The church is, where guys? Um, on the second street. Perfect. And the last one, the restaurant is... Near. Near the school. Perfect. Very nice. So, guys, well, this exercise, you know what, in order for you to know about this. Now, guys, let me show you the screen. I have, you know, something for you. So, guys, before, before guys, just a reminder is that we have, you know, this first exercise. Okay. This first exercise that is in the platform, right? So you have to look at the picture, guys. Look at this image, okay? And then you have to respond here. Is there a, and you have here some, you know, possible answers, library, band, gym, laundromat, okay? Like this one. So guys, if you finish, that's really cool, okay? Very nice, guys. But if you haven't, please do it, okay? Do it after the class or tomorrow in the morning, right? But please finish this exercise, okay? Now guys, I have here, you know, something for you. So guys, we are going to make this exercise, okay? But this one will be individual, okay? This one will be individual, but let me explain you how is this. So we are going to look at the picture and let's see, where is the bank? So we have to look, okay, the bank, and I have to choose what is the possible answer here. So let's see, the bank is next to the library next to the restaurant, next to the bar or the church. If we see guys, here is the bank. I don't see restaurant, the park is here and the church is here. So it must be library, right? Next to next the library. To, next to library. Yeah. And then we are going to have, you know, other questions like this. I need to go to, and you have to answer, okay? So now guys, I'm going to share you this link here in the chat of Zoom so you can get it okay and once you finish please send me your result i'm going to send you as well this link on the whatsapp group so you can get it right so please before we you know we finish tonight let's do it okay let's do it it's be very short guys we it's only you know nine questions we have already answered one so it's only eight questions so please guys it's very easy you only have to select one okay we have, you have to look at the picture and read the question and then choose the possible answer, okay? Be careful, okay? Be careful, look at the picture very well, okay? Don't get confused, okay? So come on, guys. And if you have any question, please let me know. By the way, I'm going to send you as well the other link with the vocabulary so you can get it, right? And I'm going to send you as well the presentation that we saw today here on the chat box of Zoom so you can get it, right? You can get it and you can check it, right? And just a reminder, guys, this Thursday, uh, we are going to have the exam, okay? Remember that on Thursday, we have the exam, right? Because it's the last day that we are going to receive classes. And for this week, we are going to finish in unit number three that only have, you know, three exercises. So tomorrow, we are going to see, you know, the rest of the exercises. 
Today, guys, you can finish this one that is, you know, similar to the ones that we have seen, okay? Son similares, este ejercicio similar, incluso más fácil a lo que hemos visto, okay, el día de hoy. So, you can get it, okay, guys? I know that you can get it, si no lo han hecho, right? But if you have finished, very nice. But guys, on Thursday, we are going to have the exam, okay? Vamos a tener el examen el jueves, so be ready, okay? Be ready. But if you have finished, pero si alguno ya no han terminado, that's perfect, okay? It's very nice. But do not worry. Si no han terminado, no se preocupen, porque el jueves igual lo vamos a estar revisando aquí, okay? Vamos a revisarlo y vamos a ver cada uno de los topics, okay? Para que nos acordemos y lo hagamos bien, okay? Logremos pasar el examen, okay? But if you have, you know, started, that's very nice. But guys, please finish this exercise if you haven't, please, because we are, you know, getting out of time. So guys, let's see how many of you have sent. Well, nobody yet. So, okay, guys. Um, well, let's see. We are, you know, almost finishing the class, right? But yes, please finish the exercise before leaving, okay? If you finish, you can send the picture and, you know, you can leave the class, right? That's right. So, come on, guys. It's very easy, right? Just look at the picture and select the one that you want. So, nice, guys. Well, uh, guys, if you haven't finished, okay, it's okay. You can continue at home, right? Pueden continuarlo y finalizar la casa. Okay? No importa cuánto se saquen, right? Because this is just for practice, okay? So, esto es solo para práctica, para ver si tenemos el tema. Porque si no, la mayoría sale mal, pues vamos a volverlo a ver, right? So, okay, guys. Well, for tonight, that's everything, okay? It was a pleasure, you know, to be here with you. So, I expect to see you tomorrow, okay? And if you have any question, please let me know, okay, guys? So nice to see you tonight and I hope you have a good night. So take care guys. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Bye.